So, let's say that you have seen some of my videos about Poland, and you might want to ask me, Hey JT, you seem to be in a little bit on this Polish culture thing. Would you mind giving me some tips on how to date a Polish person? Say no more fam, I got you. Chesh Luja, what's up people? Hola, Vigo's dad here. Welcome to another episode. You guys might have noticed by now that I like to cover Poland a lot on my YouTube videos and there's a reason for that. I am married to a Polish wife. I have a son that is half Polish. I have a lot of family in Poland already, a lot of friends. But to be honest with you, I truly like the Polish culture and I really like Polish people. Polska jest zajebista. I also like to cover topics on parenting, relationship, mixed relationships. And on this video, I wanted to merge two of the topics that I like to cover a lot. Polish people and mixed relationships. And if you're not Polish, but you've been checking out that Polish person that works with you, and you like them, but it's like their clock ticks a little bit different than you're used to, and you cannot quite understand what is happening, you know, I don't blame you, because to date a Polish person, you need a different set of rules. So let's go through them together. The first thing is, cut the games. Many dating experts say that you have to keep an open body language, position yourself in a strategic place so that you can get noticed. Yeah, maybe if you're trying to date college American girls in Miami Beach or British lads vacationing in Brighton. But Polish people are different. They are straight to the point, cut to the chase, keep it simple and don't be cheesy. Honestly, they're not gonna respond well to those one-liners. Hi, I was looking at you from across the street and I think you're gorgeous. The first thing that a Polish person would think is, why were you looking at me? Instead, if you have to use a line, because, you know, let's face it, not always we have the luxury of having a friend that will introduce us, maybe try something like this. Hi, sorry, I'm in a little bit of a hurry and I have to go, but, you know, I was walking by and I saw you and for some reason you seem quite interesting to me. I don't know, if you're, if you're single, I would maybe love to exchange Instagrams and maybe see if we're not too weird for each other. Try something like that. And disclaimer, I'm not a dating expert or anything like that, but, you know, with Polish people, I think it really pays off to be natural and not try to come off as if you are, you know, too suave. Polish people don't play cat and mouse games. Give it to them straight and they will give it back to you straight. Hopefully the person will give you their Instagram, but if not, they will tell it to you like it is. Sorry, no, I don't know you. Number two, be presentable, but keep it simple. Poles are not flashy people. They don't like too much color, too much accessories, too much perfume. And the reason for that is not the accessories themselves, but more than that, it's the attitude of trying too hard that really offsets them. The newer generations for sure are a lot more into fashion and into accessorizing and things like this. But to be honest with you, and as a general rule, Polish people don't like when things are over the top. But having said this, Polish people have very good hygiene and they're not gonna put up with you smelling like, you know, Janusz here on the bus after two days of drinking vodka and eating smalets. Number three, learn to love or lovingly accept Poland. Polish people tend to be really close with their families and with their friends. So you will find yourself traveling a lot over there, you know, to visit them and to spend time with them. And in the very least, you're gonna spend a lot of time listening to conversations with mama, tata, wujek, babcia. And Polish families are welcoming and curious. They're gonna to wanna to talk to you. They're gonna to wanna to find out more about you. Who are you? At the end of the day, you're not Polish. They need to see what's up with you, especially the jatki. And I get it, to be fair, all of the cultures will have things that might not be your cup of tea. But I find that with Polish people in particular, it's one of those groups that you have to make an effort to get along with their cultures because otherwise, I don't think it will work out. So keep an open mind and an open heart. Number four, don't be oversensitive. Polish people are not exp Wait, it was raining the other day. I had to stop, it's a new day. Don't be confused, same place, let's keep going. Poles are not expressive people. If you need to be in a relationship with someone that is gonna constantly tell you how cool you are, how much their relationship means to them, and how much they love you, then you know, go to Spain or something like that. Poles are not those people. They will show they love you by yelling at you and telling you to put on warm clothes or to take your vitamins because they don't want to outlive you. Yes, my wife has actually said those words to me. 
obviously I'm slightly joking, but what I mean to say is that they're not always gonna be sweet. They're straight to the point people, no introductions, BAM! It is what it is, so they will say it like it is. They're not even going to display affection in public too often. If they had a motto, it would be, keep it in the bedroom, not at the park. This can be rough at the beginning, especially if you're not used to this, you know, if you're not a Polish person, of course, and you're maybe more used to a softer, warmer, more expressive, touchier means of communication translates to more love. And you know what? I found that this is really, really not the case. Polish people are very passionate and their love is passionate. They just express it differently. But don't make the mistake of thinking that because that's what they know and that's how they express emotion that you should do the same now. All the opposite. In my experience, the more open and warm and close you are to Polish people, the more they open up, the more they let loose. And when they let loose, they let loose. It's like trying to go dancing or clubbing with a Polish person. At the beginning, it may seem like you have cement boots. After a couple drinks, you guys will be planning a holidays together. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, they're very sarcastic and dark humored. So don't act like you're made of glass and be ready to banter and have a good time. Number five, earn your right to complain. Yes, Polish people do complain a lot. And I covered this already on my video, the things you should not do in Poland. But to give a quick answer, Poles do complain a lot. They might sit there talking about how their day went and you know, Tata did this and my sister did that. But be very careful. This is not an invitation for you to join in on the complaining session. As a matter of fact, you might even get told off. Oh yes, so Camila mnie denerwuje. Zawsze się musi wtrącać. Yeah, your sister has always something to say. Hey, nie krytykuj moje siostrę. No, 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 no. You should know better than to do something like that. Like I said, go watch my video because there's an art form to complaining in Poland, and you should earn your stripes. For example, don't complain about Polish bread if you're not Polish. They are very weird and serious about their bread. I try not to get sucked in by the complainathons. That's not my role the way I see it. I'm just a pair of ears willing to listen to help them blow off some steam. Stay off the complaining game. And number six, be ready to be the cheerful one. You're gonna have to accept the fact that in a relationship with a Polish person, you might have to be the cheerful one and they will be the slightly grumpier one. You're gonna have to up your optimism game and be feeding them positive vibes constantly because they can get a little dark. But don't overdo it. Don't turn into a self-help guru now because they really hate that. They rejoice in the fact that they don't live in la-la land thinking the world is a fairy tale. And to be honest with you, that mindset got them through multiple wars and <laughs> very difficult things, so you cannot really blame them. But everyone can use a little pick-me-up from time to time, especially from people that they love and trust. I mean this with all the love and respect in the world, but I'm also keeping it 100% with you guys. That's the nature of Polish people. They are pessimistic, a little grumpy, but they're also funny, reliable, honest, and when they care, they really care. Boom! That's all guys, that's the end of the episode, I hope you liked it. I'm not an expert, I'm just, you know, based on my observations and I've been married to a Polish person for the last seven years. Take that as it is, and if you like this video, share it with a friend or not, someone that uh, might be interested in dating a Polish person. See you next week, bye bye.